Hello, Hello and, and welcome, welcome to Two Northerners, Northerners on Tour. tour. Is. <sighs> well, we're here at uh, Clonberris. Well, just outside, aren't we? Yes, at a place called Snowdon Inn, small caravan site. Yeah, it's uh, it's got sort of a, a little sort of meadow feel to it. It's really, really nice. Uh, very basic, uh, but absolutely beautiful. Uh, there's a little uh, swimming pond uh, pool uh, over behind the. Uh, the camera and there's, uh, there's canoes as you can have outside uh, fires provided obviously careful but we're still we're still not uh, able to use any of the facilities just yet are you? Nope. But uh, we're only here for a couple of nights uh, it's a little on the grey side it is going dark it's nine o'clock uh, but uh, just glad to be out and uh, have no weekend break in from Max aren't we? Yep. So, uh, we're going to do a little bit of walking tomorrow. Yes, into Lamberis. Probably not do Snowden. Might be a bit much. Do you think? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. yeah. You never know. <laughs> we normally set off and do. We say we'll do a couple of miles. We end up coming back after doing about fourteen, don't we? Yeah. So <laughs> crippled. We're just on our way into uh, Hamberis, as you can see. The weather's not fantastic, but we've just spotted this gorgeous little uh, little spot. Uh, it's on a little jetty. Here's Marie with a trusty brolly. Hey, yes. Good morning. Good morning. It's uh, quite wet today. Oh, uh... As you can see, we're here by the, uh, the edge of the lake near Lamberis. Lamberis is, is just up there in front of us, directly in the centre of the picture now. So we've just come and we can see this little plaque here. It's got a poem on it. It says, Cherish these mountains, born in fire and ash, out of the sea to make this wilderness. Asleep for errands beneath the ice and snow, carved by the shifting glaciers long ago. Till ten millennia back, the last ice age made the right for fern and purple saffage. Saffage. Uh, this place, those whose evolutions given birth, for the rare Snowdonia lilies home on earth. But f all f could go with the melting snow. And that was by Gillian Clark. The well, bridge we're walking across here. This was actually built in 1826 to uh, to connect the quarries uh, to the main road between Carnarvon and Clamberis. So uh, just a little bit of uh, local history there. It's, uh, you've got these, uh, it's something the uh, Welsh Tourist Board has started to do, they've got these little uh, waypoints on the little signs on the bridges and on the uh, views uh, that uh, if you use your QR code or photo on the phone it links you to the website and it tells you all the different information. It's uh, very, very informative. Yeah. Another beautiful view. This is a walk in uh, down this road towards Lamberis. It's not the nicest of days, but you can't vault the actual landscape, can you? No. Very nice. Good to be away. It is. It is. That's where we've come from, over there, down that end. You can probably just about make out the bridge down the bottom. And we're heading along the main road this way, up to Lamberis. This obviously is where the uh, quarry used to be. You can see all the stone in the bottom that we used to quarry out. As you can see, it's pretty clear the water. 
and uh, we've got rocks everywhere we look. Yeah. Like I say, it's, uh, it's, full, it's full of information all over, isn't it? Yeah. It's a really, really beautiful place. It'd be great when uh, it was sunny as well. <sighs> it's, I think there's an, a certain elegance to it, even when it's wet like this. That was erected to commemorate the centenary of the North Wales Quarrymen's Union, 1874 to 1974. So it's uh, it's gone a bit, quite a bit older now. And there's uh, a little bit on the uh, the area and the quarries. The banner of the North Wales Quarrymen's Union was illustrated with scenes of quarrymen at work over a hundred years ago. This quiet spot on the shores of Plan, Pardon, Pard, Padorn even, uh, was at the centre of the Quarrymen's long campaign for recognition and justice. During the 19th century, numerous attempts had been made to establish trade unions in the North Wales quarries, but the slate industry at its height was, was little sympathy, there was little sympathy, I should say, uh, for the quarry, from the quarry owners. In 1870, 110 quarrymen from Glynroda Quarry uh, declared themselves to be union members and were promptly locked out by their own captains. Uh, there it goes on to say that uh, they attempted to spread the union, uh, owners refused permission for union meetings. Uh, natural lot shelter. These, so they actually caught in, in some of the caves and rocks they actually had secret meetings led uh, which led to the creation of the union in the end well, there you go a little bit of information on that i do apologize i wasn't pointing at it so we've just uh, come off the main uh, route and we've uh, found this path that takes us uh, all the way into flamberries uh, very accommodating the welsh it's uh, Absolutely brilliant. It's, uh, yeah. I mean, we uh, we haven't brought the bikes because the weather was uh, forecast to be, shall we say, not uh, not Id ideal cycling weather this weekend. Uh, but uh, we've got a lovely uh, background music as well. We could want some more. <laughs> We're lucky, so and so's, aren't we, really? I have to apologise for the shaky image, I haven't brought my uh, my gimbal. Uh, yeah. More running water, as you can see it's absolutely steaming down the rock there. So that'll go underneath us into the lake at the side. Gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, I reckon we've still got about a mile. Half a mile to a mile, yeah. Yeah. Water on both sides. Guys, yeah. this is the uh, the walk that uh, we uh, inadvertently stumbled across. And it takes us from uh, the centre of Lamberis all the way up to our uh, to our campsite. And we're uh, we're heading back now. We've just been and got a couple of uh, supplies from the essentials from the uh, local store. So we're heading back. Hi. 
path, down the path we came from up there. So we're gonna walk back and walk back this way and uh, see where the, the path proverbial leads us. There's a breeze point to it, isn't there? Might have had a candle at one point if they were lucky in the canary. Oh, I love the feel though, isn't it? Nice yeah. fresh air come being drawn through. Yeah. Unfortunately. This is fairly new this because it's all flat. Well yeah, I'd say long, it's it? a few years at the very most, isn't it? I'd say. But the tunnel have been here a long time, would not it? And the lights are LED, so they're quite new as well. My question is, where does it take us? I'm sure we don't know yet. We're certainly on the opposite side of the road. We're on the opposite side. Yeah, we're on the opposite side of it now. Mm, yeah, we shall see. Out, and what we've realised is this is just a way of going around in a small circle. <laughs> because uh, this path, it's a cycle route, that's why obviously we so run very cycle route. Uh, at this path, we originally walked up between uh, those two stone walls over there, between these two fields, so... Okay, path, yeah, that's a great route though. It's certainly one we bring the bikes on and keep getting with the locals. <laughs> it's a good one, that one, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> So you're not coming for my wool again. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, uh, the final route. It uh, looks like it's a, a, a road, what, well sorry, it was a road, but it's been turned into a public footpath. Because uh, it's actually completely blocked at one end. And, uh, and this leads us all the way back to uh, our small but uh, perfectly formed little site that we're at to this weekend. Uh, like I said, we've not uh, had the best of weather today, but uh, we'll be glad to get back, have a have a cup of tea, won't we? Yeah. And uh, unfortunately, there's no cake. Marie forgot to get me cake. Terrible. Terrible. I'm, yeah, hard, I'm really hard done to. I am. <laughs> Well, you'd think it was a different day, a different place, wouldn't you? Yep, same day, poured down. <laughs> Every but, time uh, we went out for a walk. It stopped raining about an uh, hour, two hours ago. Two hours ago, now so, half past eight at night. Yeah, uh, so we, uh, we managed to have a barbecue. We've got a fire going. Uh, We've got wine. Yes. So uh, we've flown the drove. We have. Yes, indeed. Uh, got some decent footage, and the sun is now setting. It's actually a beautiful evening. It really, really is. Uh, we're just chilling out. It's Saturday. We're back tomorrow at some stage tomorrow home, yeah, aren't we? I'm not thinking about that right now. We're not thinking about that. We've got a little bit more wood to go yet. We're not uh, totally burnt out yet. Uh, there's a few trees around us, we, 
feels I need. <laughs> uh, but no, we're just chilling out and uh, having a glass of wine and making the most of, uh, of this unexpected weather. Yeah. We've uh, we put our sticker up on the back of uh, Maxi, so anybody that sees us tootling along will instantly recognise us. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, really. <laughs> Got <Good, good> problems. <laughs> But uh, yes. So anyway, I hope you guys have had a good weekend. Uh, certainly not in the best weather here, but I'm hoping you've had better weather than we've had. Uh, if not, I'm hoping you've had a good weekend anyway. So uh, I will say adieu from Marie and myself, and we will see you on our next travels. Yep, which hopefully is not too far away. Okay. Bye-bye for now, guys.